Hi guys, welcome back to the exclusive Patreon interview with Mario Gonzalez. You've heard the main interview, I'm sure. The Action 52 guru himself is back for a real, just quick fire question. So Mario, thanks again for popping by uh, to speak to our lovely Patreon listeners. You got it. So I'm going to whiz through some really quick questions like, what's your favourite? And you can, this is the first thing that pops in your head. And I'm going to finish. I'll give you a little bit of time to think about this. Your top three ever video games of all time. But most of the questions will be like one answer. Uh, uh, answers. So the first one is, what do you prefer, Mario, tea or coffee? Coffee. Yeah, yeah, me too. Pepsi <laughs> or Coca-Cola? <laughs> uh, Pepsi. Mario or Sonic? Mario. <laughs> Sega or Nintendo? Nintendo. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Yeah, you, you said earlier actually in the previous uh, interview that you, you're a huge fan. Is that fair? You've always been quite loyal to Xbox, is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I've, I, had, I had PlayStation 1 and 2, but after that, it's just been PlayStation. I mean, it's been Xbox after. After PlayStation 2, I just went uh, Xbox after that. Ah, fair enough. Have you got the latest Xbox? Can I ask the... I haven't got the latest one yet. I always wait a year or two. I'm yeah, let them work out the kinks. <laughs> yeah, no, fair <laughs> enough. Before I grab it. I think I know the answer to the next one, but I'm going to ask it anyway. The Amiga or Atari ST? Amiga. Oh, 100%. Sorry, Atari ST lovers out there, but yeah. I'm a huge Amiga fan. What, you said earlier in the previous interview how, how much you love that machine. Are you still a fan of it today? Yeah, um, I still I still have one. I have a yeah. couple of uh, older machines that I've been have kept over the years, and I still have a, an Amiga. Oh, so fun. yeah, and that was an incredible jump. I think they were way ahead of their time when they designed it. You know. I would agree. Did you have any favorite games in the Amiga, or is it more programming that you did? Or yeah, I just I just overall enjoyed the um, the uh, attention, the graphics, and sound that they really put into it. Um, but yeah, they, I mean, I don't even recall many of the games. Uh, there were so many of them, really. But uh, I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> now, I have to go back into the to the ROMs and see what you know, what kind of uh, all the lists. There was a lot too. Yes, yeah, thousands. It was a huge of games. library. Yeah. On a completely different note, do you think pineapples belong on a pizza? Yes or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> Arnie or Sly? Who do you prefer? Say that again. Arnie, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sly Stallone? I'll take Schwarzenegger. Okay, good. Fair enough. Uh, favorite film of all time? Oof, it's a hard one. It's a tough one, isn't it? That's a tough one. I think I'm going to go with Excalibur. Excalibur, okay, good. Yeah, back from the 80s. I think that's the best like, rendition of Excalibur that was ever created. And I'm, and I'm a big fan of uh, fantasy and nice. sword and sorcery, so I think that's probably... One of the best ones. I don't think they've done it justice in any of the newer renditions of uh, showing King Arthur, and yeah. nothing does it that good as like that movie back from the '80s, the Excalibur movie. I think that's probably one of my all-time favorites. Good stuff. Um, how about favorite actor? Have you got a favorite actor of all time? Hmm. Actor. I guess it would have to be uh, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's this generation. Yeah. He's great. I like he's all the stuff he does. He's just likable, isn't he? He's a likable guy, and obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's, have you played Cyberpunk then, by by any chance? Yeah, yeah. I started. I'm waiting for them all sort of, you know, uh, fix up a few of the uh, of the bugs and stuff. So I, I've been, you know, kind of not putting too much time into it. I, I want to wait till they really fix it up a little bit. Yeah, I don't blame. But that. it's it's a great game. Yeah. How about favorite TV show? We're, we're towards the end of my list now. But what's your favorite TV show of all time? Of all time, well, I was a big X Files fan back in the yeah. day, and uh, let's see something a little bit more recent. It's going to be like The Expanse. Oh, okay. Um, but you know, from back then and now, compared, uh, I just like I'm big on the sci-fi genre, uh, and the, you know, or you know, space kind of theme. Um, not too much into just regular drama. Fair like. enough. No, fair enough. And you did the Mandalorian earlier. You found out then yourself, then you. Oh yeah, yeah. Saw the both seasons. Yeah, of course, those were yeah. great. I think that that uh, that I think brought Star Wars out of the out of the abyss. That, that, that show. Thank God. I haven't seen it personally, but I've heard good things. So I'm, oh I'm, yeah, yeah. You recommend? If you're you know if you're a Star Wars fan, it just brings back the emotion and 
and all that yeah. feeling that you felt back when you first saw Star Wars, you know. I saw Marion. How about have you got a favorite sports team? Have you got any teams you really support in any sports? Not big into sports. Uh, I've always, you know, I'm native here to Miami, Florida, so Miami Dolphins. Oh, there you go. That's it. It's the Miami Dolphins when it comes. I'm not a huge fan of baseball or any other sport or basketball, but football definitely. Miami Dolphins is always a team that I'm. There you I'm, go. Uh, favorite console of all time? I would have to say it was the Dreamcast. Oh wow. Ooh. Good answer. And I think that's another console that was way ahead of its time. I think it even had abilities for internet and everything that w nobody had back then. And uh, just the uh, the graphics and the sound, again, were way ahead. It, they failed because of the, I guess, just the business side of it. And nothing to do with, nothing to do with the console itself or the games. Everything was great. The business side of it, is the reason it failed but it was it was way ahead of its time and uh until today i think that's the best memories i have of a console like of just you know all the incredible stuff was on it stuff i was playing like crazy taxi and yeah. panzer dragoon or a bunch of them just Shen stuff. shenmue as well what a great shenmue, game and yeah Amazing. I, i'm a dreamcast fan and I, I, i'm a ps2 fan as well but they I, I think the dreamcast is more powerful personally yeah it's an interesting battle but ps2 won didn't it yeah, yeah. It was just like when VHS beat beta. Like, exactly. Showed my age. <laughs> <laughs> and my penultimate question: Do you actually listen to any podcasts? And if you do, do you have any favorites? Your podcast. Much. I, I, I was listening for a while to some game development podcasts. I can't even remember what they were at the time, but I love listening to uh, just creative individuals uh, of how their whole process of of creativity and how they come up with ideas. I love to see these uh, and hear these these. Um, I forgot what they call them, but when they go and they go, they talk about how a certain game was developed and talk about the history of it. I love to listen to those things because just to get into their mindset and see how, how they uh, came up with these uh, ideas. And being a, de a developer, you know, I love to hear that. I love to see other other people's uh, way to think, you know. <laughs> love it. No, I love it. And um, my final question is, it's a tough one and it's pretty hard than your favorite film question. What are your top three favorite video games of all time across any any time? Top three? Yeah. Well, number one, of course, is uh, Zelda. Yes. And I guess number two, I would have to say Skyrim. Um, that one really, I got really involved in it and 100% of that game. I couldn't get enough of it. So Skyrim yeah, yeah, yeah. would have to be number two. And then just bringing it more recent, I guess, number three. Um, what was the one? Well, I'm going to say, you know what? Right now, I'm going to say No Man's Sky. Uh, no Man's Sky, yeah. They've improved that game, didn't they? It, it, it has a, a yeah. I, I tell score. you, that, that is, you got a, there's an incredible story. It's about an hour long on YouTube about that story. And, and it's incredible. It's incredible the things they went through and how they came back, you know, yeah. to see that. Yeah. And I I'd always, I'd always knew there was something there. And, uh, and at the beginning, it felt a little like the Action 52 story. You know, you got all this. Nice grandiose ideas oh wow 52 games and then all of a sudden it just, it just dies but they never went back and fixed action 52 did they <laughs> this one they sure you know this guy came back and redeemed himself i mean this it's a great fun game to hang out with friends too you know it's an online thing to it and we have a great time playing it me and my friends on it you, the, the, just the only problem saying that Mario, is people listen now and going mary you need to go back and finish Mar action 52 fix all these little bugs get it out there <laughs> one last time would you <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've been getting uh, all types of comments asking me, hey, when are you going to go back? Are you going to do this? Why don't you remake this? Try to remake this or remake that. I'm like, you know, uh, it takes you know, time. I would love to do it if I had the time. Maybe after, you know, retirement and I just have more time on my hands, I can just, uh, maybe I'll focus on that. Maybe I'll focus on just doing Action 52, the entire thing from scratch, just redoing the, the entire thing again. Who knows? Love maybe it. on the agenda. You're a legend. Mario, thank you again. Uh, just a little short little interview there, just to finish off, uh, sort of piggyback on the other interview. If you haven't heard the first uh, in-depth interview with Mario, please go back. He shares some great stories about Action 52, but I appreciate you spending a bit extra time doing this as well. Mario, you're a true legend. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. Great being with you. Thank you. Thank you.